Let's begin installing the server. If you want to follow along with Vulture, you can use this reference link. So you will get $100 to make use of any VPS. You don't need any money to follow this course. Once you have your account, let's go to products or here, deploy new server. I'm going to choose a server as close as my place. In this case, Dallas, click on it. We're going to use Ubuntu 20.04. And if you want to install just a simple web page and one WordPress, this is good to go. But if you want to start installing more than two or three WordPress sites, I recommend you this one. Moreover, if you want to install Laravel applications as well, then start with this one. Just remember, you can destroy a server whenever you want and restart again by choosing another one. I will show you later how to automate the creation of containers with a bash script. But by now, practice make you master. So I'm going to begin with uh, $10. I give a name here and I click on deploy. Once it's running, we get our details about our server. This is our IP address and our password. So we copy the IP address. In order to access our server, we type ssh space root at our IP address, enter. Since this is going to be the first time we access such an IP address, we type yes. And then we paste the password. We are in. So we start updating our server. Then we upgrade it, we say yes, then we reboot, we will get disconnected, we copy the password, after rebooting we log in into our server again, we paste the password. Now we are inside our server again. Just by now we're going to make uh, a tweak in security. So let's install fail to ban, just like basic security. Later in, we look at security in a deeper way. But for now, fail to ban will be enough. So we go to the folder of fail to ban. And what we need to do is to create a config file for fail to ban with this editor and we paste this information with escape colon write and quit we start fail to ban and we enable it later you can check the status of ips being banned of brute force attacks and that's pretty much it so now let's install docker yes we check that it is installed as well as docker compose we need to start the service we enable the service of docker and we check the status it's working so here i type escape and q as quit escape and quit 